Hey, you guys, SEK the Homesteader here with another prep video. And I'm going to call this video, How Many Ways Are You Able to Cook If the Grid Goes Down? Okay, family? So I came up with this because as I was weeding out, shifting things in my um, prep pantry, I came across this. Now, let me tell you guys about this. This is our go-to travel grill. When we hit the road, we make sure we have these. And I just so happened found one as I was moving things around. So you guys, if you do not have any of these disposable grills, you want to Google them and get you a couple. This is actually my last one. So this is what we usually take on the road with all my sons because we get tired of buying food out on the road. We will take this on the road with some hot dogs and some hamburgers, and that's it, something simple. Um, the great thing about it, as you can see, it is disposable, okay? So it is. Um, it does have charcoal in it. It cooks very well. We done took these to the beach, to the lake, or the vogue, done cooked in the back of the van outside. So these work really, really well. So with the grid about to go down, because we are going to have a dark, cold winter. You want to make sure you have multiple ways of cooking. So check this out, you guys. And most of us are familiar with the Coleman camping uh, stove. You want to make sure you have one of these. Get a couple of them. Share them with your family. They're cheap. They're very reasonable. $20, $30, $40, depending on the name brand. Get you a couple of these, okay? And make sure you are stacking up on the Boutain uh, gas. Now, I actually ordered a case of these, which I got, what was in the case? I think it was, it was a five pack, five or four pack. Then I had picked up some from uh, Walmart that I seen, and it was the last, which I got four more packs. I just snatched what I saw. Right now, you got to snatch what you see. I did the same thing with, um, my, uh, uh, propane um, canisters or tanks that uh, that would be the proper word a tank and I did the same thing with those as well and I got actually uh, 16 cans was left snatch those up if I see things I'm snatching them. I'm not leaving nothing. And I don't care what people say. It's there for you to buy. And I'm going to buy it. If it's the last four, I'm going to buy it if I know I need it. Because at this point, you have to get what you can get. You can also go online, which they're getting very scarce. And you can purchase the propane online as well as the butane online. Amazon is getting high. So, Lowe's is always running out. That's another one that's running out of the um, propane. And as far as the butane, go online. They may be out of stock, but just keep checking and get them online. So these, I think, are $3 each. And these are about the same price, $3.49 or $2.99. I totally forgot. So if you're able to go online, please go online and get your um, uh, butane and your propane. So now let's talk about my buddy. Let's talk about the buddy. Now, shout out to all the preppers out there that's encouraging getting that buddy. This is a must in your household. If you have a home, if you have an apartment, if you have a condo, the buddy heater is a must. So let's talk about this buddy heater because this is an awesome um, heater to have. If you are um, adventurous and you like to live in the wildlife, you love camping, you love hiking, things of that nature, the buddy is a go-to. This is very safe for indoor and outdoor. But the cool thing about the Buddy is you can also cook on top of the Buddy. Y'all check that out. Y'all see that? So this will heat up a, a, can of, a can of food, whatever your liking is. It will heat up that can and you will have a hot meal. Now you can also put a small pot and heat you up some soup in a small pot, some stew, I don't know, whatever your preference is. But the good thing about it is that this thing gets so hot that it will give you a hot meal. All right, family? So this is a little um, cooktop tray that comes off. So I'm going to remove this so you guys can see how easy it is. 
and it's called a warmer tray and you just put it inside just like that and you heat you up a can of food or a pot of food something all right you guys so we already know um and most of us already have grills outside okay so even with your grill if you run out of taco what do we do we use some dry firewood right so that is another way that you can cook if you want to go old school and set you up some bricks and make you a grill like i did in one of my previous videos do that okay so but make sure you have more than one way of cooking because this is great for indoor okay indoor and outdoor but what if you can't get outdoor because it's freezing you got ice snow cold rain what if you cannot get out there what are you going to do and you don't and your gas is not running you have no electricity because the, the the grid is down what are you going to do how are you going to be able to cook you a hot meal or to even keep warm okay family so this is my prepper video for thanksgiving this is how i am spending my thanksgiving <laughs> I will be spending my Thanksgiving crocheting and sewing today. Um, but I definitely wanted to bring this video to you guys. I hope it was very informative for you guys. Make sure you guys thumbs up, like, and share this video. This video needs to be shared. So you guys get out there, figure out what are the, going to be the best ways for you to have multiple ways of cooking. All right. So here is three ways of being able to cook indoor and outdoor and very indoor safe okay you guys make sure you are prepping for this cold dark winter that is coming people are taking this lightly some people are out there preparing you need to be preparing i just told my son it's bad enough that we in america ca, 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 being uncomfortable the last thing I want to be is uncomfortable in my own home. I want to feel safe. I want to be able to feed myself and my children. And I want to, I want to, um, make sure the rest of my friends and family is, is, um, okay out there. This is why I'm doing these videos. So I want to encourage you all to be prepping. All right, family. So this is SEK the Homesteader. Make sure you guys thumbs up and please share this video. All right, family. I will talk to you guys real soon. Continue to prep and be safe. Peace.